beyond the bray of chainsaws and the brawn of skitters, it's pretty quiet out here. God's country, some would say. For others, it's a hydroless middle of nowhere. This time of year, it's easy to keep your drinks on ice, but come summer, you'll need an ice box. Literally. There's no power out here? No, we run by generator and solar. Okay. That's how we get our electricity. Right. Is, uh, generator costs a lot of money and the solar only lasts for so long. Naturally, ice keeps things cold, but ice is about $3 a block. Why pay when you can get it for free with a little help from your friends? These folks run a hunting and fishing getaway resort. The ice harvest is getting to be as popular as anything else they offer. We've been doing the ice cutting for about six years and it's just getting bigger and bigger each year with people coming. We have a lot of friends and that from the states that come down. Years ago, before hydro and refrigerators, this was must-do work. The horses have been replaced with skitters, which means much bigger slabs of ice can be pulled out. About $16,000 worth today, in fact. They would have cut it like, say, maybe a two-foot channel, uh, 10 feet long or whatever, and skidded out with the horses. Right. But because we have the skitter, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, you can see from the surface of the water that the chainsaw is leaving something behind. Now, environmentalists might be fearful of the oil from that chainsaw that is getting into the lake. Well, they've already thought of that. So what are we using for bar and chain oil in this? Uh, well, canola oil. Canola oil? Yeah. And that's, that's to make it easier on the environment, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah. and it doesn't freeze up, too. it stays good. By the end of today, they'll cover the ice with sawdust and a tarp. Okay, it's cold now, but not for long. Won't this just be a big puddle by the spring? How long will this ice oh, last? I've been here in August and got ice out of here already. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it'll last a long time if you keep sawdust on it. We'll take about two tandem loads of sawdust to put over top of that, and they're good right into the pole. So that doesn't let the cold out, doesn't let any hot in. Right. And this is no commercial venture. They give the stuff away, mainly for community functions. But let's face it, first and foremost, this place is a lodge. Beer's always cold. That's what we cut it for. You're as cold as ice. Near Danford Lake, Doug Hempstead, A News. To say